Okay, so the first thing, since we're making a fried shrimp burger or a ebi katsu burger, first thing we got to have is we got to have some shrimp. I have eight ounces of uh, peeled and deveined shrimp here. Shrimp here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse. The, I'm going to puree these things. And now I don't necessarily need it all in a puree, but I want some small pieces and some big pieces. Getting there. And what I'm gonna do? Take this off. Got a little bit of green onion. Got about I don't know two tablespoons. Basically, the white part off of one green onion. I've got two tablespoons of flour. One egg. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm making a shrimp cake. Kind of like, you know, instead of a crab cake, I'm making a shrimp cake. I need a little bit of salt. That's probably a little too much. There we go. Put about a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to put some black pepper. I'm going to hit this one more time. Take a look, see how thick that is. That, that may be a little thin. This is all going to depend on the moisture content that you have in your shrimp. I'm going to need a little bit more flour. Probably not a lot more. Go ahead and we can take this blade out. Then I'll mix, I'll mix this mixture up. Okay, now my mixture is getting pretty close to where I want it. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add two tablespoons of the panko breadcrumbs. These are going to get mixed in. Now we're also going to essentially put some panko on the outside. We want to blend a little bit of this in. So like I said, we're essentially making a shrimp cake. It's very similar to what you would do if you were making a crab cake. There. Now that's looking pretty good. Now it doesn't really look good, but you know, it's the texture I'm looking for. Alright, now I've got to form my patty. I've got this little skillet, it's a little it's a little bit larger than my bun. I've got it lined with some plastic. We're gonna let that. I'm gonna throw this in the freezer for a few minutes and let it kind of chill a little bit. Okay, so our uh, patty's kind of firmed up a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So what we're gonna do, or try to do, now flip this out on some panko. Both sides crusted up. Gonna put it back in shape a little bit. Trying to fall apart on me. Put that in some oil and we're gonna brown that up on both sides. 
Okay, it's almost time to flip this. You can see how it's getting brown around the edges really good and it's starting to firm up. What I'm going to do, take a little bit of hot oil, kind of go over the top. That way this isn't so soft when I go to flip it. up give it a flip now look at that color that is beautiful now it won't take too long to cook on this side all right so now this thing should be done look at that that's looking good what we're gonna do we're gonna take we're gonna put this on a paper towel going to immediately hit it with a little bit of salt on the outside. I'm going to flip it over and hit the other side. It doesn't need much because it's already got salt in, in it. Okay, so let's assemble. Now, I, I would say that my patty is a little bit bigger than my bun. I'll, I'll agree with you on that. What I want to do is I want to lay down some lettuce because, you know, we're eating nice and healthy. So put our lettuce on there. We're going to put some tomatoes on here. take our top bun. We're going to take some tartar sauce. Nice big thick layer of that. Now this is store-bought tartar sauce. I wish I'd have had time to make my own but I didn't. But I'm going to put a link to Diana. She's got a nice tartar sauce on her, 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 on her page. And so what I'll do is I'll put a link to her tartar sauce. That way you guys can check out her tartar sauce. But there is an Ebi Katsu burger. Okay, so how does our burger taste? Let's find out. Yeah, <laughs> you'll have to try this. <laughs>